Last week, I made a video about how I got into engineering and how you can too, and it did pretty well. But sometimes we're so excited about getting in, we don't really know what it's like on the other side. So in this video, I'll break down exactly what the engineering student life is like as a fourth year mechanical engineering student by showing you what a year in my life was like. I'll start off by explaining how my engineering program works and then I'll go into more detail talking about my study terms and work terms throughout the year and you'll also find time slots for everything in the description. I started studying engineering in September 2016 and I'm supposed to graduate in a few months in April 2021. It's kind of exciting but also really stressful. Anyways, through my five years in this engineering program, we basically alternate between study terms and work terms. So when I started in September 2016, I had an eight month study term from September 2016 to April 2017. Then from May to August 2017, I had my first work term, I did my first internship. Then I was back in school from September to December 2017. And then back on a work term from January to April 2018. And that was my second internship. And then from May to August 2018, I was back in school. So basically, we keep alternating from school and work for five years with no breaks, nonstop. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Now that you understand how my program works, let's zoom in a little bit to the year 2019. That year was broken down into three parts, January to April 2019, May to August, then September to December. The reason I'm choosing to talk about the year 2019 was because it was like the last normal year we had before the pandemic, and I just thought it'd be more interesting to talk about a year where we're not staring at screens all day. 2019 started off with a study term, and this is what my schedule looked like back then. Classes would start around 9.30 a.m. and I'd have back-to-back -back lectures until 3.20 p.m. with about an hour break in the middle. Some days I'd also have labs in the evening, but they're not shown here. This was my fifth study term and I was taking these five courses, Kinematics and Dynamics, Advanced Engineering Mathematics, Thermodynamics, Fluid Mechanics, and Manufacturing Methods. All right, let's have a closer look at my schedule. I'd usually wake up around 9 a.m. every single day. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'd work out in the morning for about an hour before class, but I know what you're thinking. How do you wake up at 9 a.m. on Wednesday and work out before class if your class is at 9.30 a.m.? Well, I usually skip that class because I honestly don't understand anything the professor says. But I'm not saying you should skip your classes. You shouldn't, well, you could skip, but skip responsibly. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, I wouldn't work out. I usually take those days off and I just go to class right away in the morning after eating some breakfast, of course. My class basically consisted of me sitting in these large lecture halls with a hundred other students listening to the professor explain stuff while trying to take notes as fast as possible. But I gotta be honest with you, usually when I'm in class, I understand absolutely nothing of what the professor is trying to teach. I'm just passively taking notes and writing down questions on in my notebook that I'll look back later. So if you're in the same position and you realize that you're not understanding anything in class, that's honestly completely normal. Anyways, after I finish going to all my lectures, I'm usually home around 4 p.m. Then from 4 to 8 p.m., I'm usually catching up on schoolwork, working on my resume, applying to internships. Then at 8 p.m., I take a break from school and I go to jujitsu practice. For anyone that doesn't know what jiu-jitsu is, it's basically a type of self-defense martial art. The reason I do it is because it honestly helps alleviate so much stress that I feel as an engineering student. After I get home from jiu-jitsu around like 10 p.m., I chill for a bit and then go to sleep around like midnight or 1 a.m. This was basically my life from beginning of January 2019 till the middle of February 2019, where reading week began. Reading week was basically a week where you just catch up on all your schoolwork, you have no lectures, and you just focus on studying for exams. After reading week, we have something called held week. Hell week is basically a week where you have five midterms in five days, literally back to back. Monday through Friday, you have a midterm every single day. So usually for those two weeks, reading week and hell week, my friends and I get together and we start studying and catching up on everything that we were confused on from like the beginning of January until the middle of February. We just spend them catching up and just studying for basically like 10 to 12 hours a day. After those two weeks of straight grinding and studying, uh, the hunt for an internship starts to get more serious. So at this time, it's around like March, and my university requires students to have a summer internship. Like if you don't have a summer internship, like you don't have enough credits to graduate. And so yeah, it's kind of stressful to be able to get an internship in such a short period of time while balancing school. But honestly, you just get used to it at this point. And so at the time I was really working on preparing for job interviews and actually doing those job interviews and you know working on perfecting my resume until I finally got an internship in like April. I got a job offer in April and then the internship was to start in May. During April, we have a ton of final exams. I believe in that month I had five final exams in the span of two weeks. And so during those two weeks, my friends and I get together and we spend like 10 to 12 hours a day studying for those exams, trying to get obviously the best grades that we can. And so yeah, really, you know, if you look at engineering, there's really like 
four weeks of the entire four month term that were actually focused on studying. And those are the two weeks in February and the two weeks in April. That basically sums up the first four months of 2019. A lot of studying, a lot of job interviews, a lot of stress and confusion in class and the occasional workout session. Now let's fast forward a little bit to the second part of 2019 from May to August where I was doing my fourth internship. For anyone curious on how I actually got that internship, I got it using LinkedIn and networking with other professionals on that site. I worked at a startup in Toronto as a mechanical engineering intern where I did a lot of design, manufacturing, and catting work. It was really cool because I got to learn so much and put a lot of experience on my resume. I talk about it in more detail here, but I actually made a day in your life video back when I was working there that I'll link in the description for you to watch if you're curious to know more about this internship. The last four months of 2019 was another study term similar to the one I had at the beginning of the year. Uh, so from September to December 2019, I was back in school finishing up my third year. This is what my schedule looked like. I usually had classes from 8.30 a.m. to 3 or 4 p.m. every day with like about an hour in the middle of the day for like a break. September was spent mainly studying and working on my resume until I had reading week again in the middle of October followed by hell week where again five exams and five long days. Each exam was worth anywhere between like 30 to 50 percent so you can imagine how stressful that was. After hell week was over I had a bunch of job interviews. At the time I was in my third year so I was fortunate enough to have gotten job interviews with companies like Apple and Tesla. Unfortunately, I didn't end up getting the job offer from these companies, but I learned so much about what I need to improve my engineering skill set to eventually get a job there one day. I did eventually end up getting an internship in like uh, early December at a startup in Silicon Valley. So that was really cool. I then ended off the month of December with a bunch of final exams where we had five exams in the span of two weeks. Again, my friends and I would get together and we'd study for like around 10 to 12 hours a day every day for those two weeks to be able to do really well on those exams. It was a really stressful time because like some of these exams are worth a lot. Like I think the lowest was like 40%, but some of them would, some of these exams would be as worth as much as like 60%. But after those exams were over, I started off 2020 doing my fifth internship in California. But that's it. That's what a year of my life was like as an engineering student at the University of Waterloo back in 2019 where life was a little bit more normal. I hope this video helped give you a glimpse of what the engineering student lifestyle is like if that's something you're interested in because I think it's really important to know what you're getting yourself into. Now, there's a lot of work and there's a lot of studying involved, but I honestly found it really fun and I think it's completely worth it because you meet a lot of great like-minded people and you learn so much from those like four or five years where you're studying engineering. I know engineering is known for being extremely hard and that is true to some extent because you have to put in a lot of hours when it comes to studying and you have to be really patient through all the confusing concepts that you're going to face. But it is doable and it gets easier with every year. Anyways, I hope this video brought you value. If it did, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!